hello 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 spike in here with another eye opening message in today's video i would like to share a very important topic with you all about christmas and its satanic and saturnian or saturn connections so first of all let's begin by truly understanding that december 25th is not actually jesus christ's birthday and that the bible does not even mention December 25th at all. The elites are simply using December 25th as a day to spread the worship of Saturn throughout the whole wide world. I mean, it is the elites who run this world today anyway. So in fact, we have all unknowingly participated in Saturn worship for thousands and thousands of years. This Saturnian cult has never ever stopped and its rites are still present to this very day. Saturn is now dubbed as the Lord of the Rings and it is the reason why we exchange rings at weddings or put halos on the heads of godly people for example. So let's cut to the chase and hop on into it from the very very beginning. Since ancient times Sages gazed at the stars and the planets while admiring their heavenly glow and attributing to them godly powers. This is exactly why we see so many connotations in ancient times linking planets to gods. For example, we have the planet Neptune linked to the god Poseidon, Venus linked to Aphrodite, Mars linked to Aries, Saturn linked to Cronus, and etc. Again and again, the ancients asserted a claim that could only appear maddening and preposterous to us in our modern times. But the ancient people declared that the distant planets and stars were the gods of their times. And today, we're specifically going to be talking about Saturn. So the ancients claimed that Saturn is so active in the cosmos that it was regarded by all of mankind as the supreme god and the creator who is also known as El. And astronomers estimated that the planet Saturn exerted the greatest influence upon all the movements of the celestial bodies in our solar system. And in the very beginning, Saturn ejected filaments in all directions, and that the solar system became illuminated as if by hundreds and hundreds of suns. Hence, why the ancients also worshipped Saturn, or El, as the very first sun. And as strange as it may seem, as difficult as it may be to comprehend, the ancient sun god is not the body we call sun today. In fact, early astronomical traditions identify this first sun or best sun as the planet Saturn. In fact, Saturn is esoterically associated with a man's limitations, restrictions, death, and decay. Saturn has also throughout the ages collected various names from different parts of the world and in different languages. But in essence, the ancients have all been worshipping the same deity unknowingly. So if you take a look here at this picture, you could see that the god of Saturn is always and always represented by a very, very old man 
with a long beard, a sickle, and an hourglass throughout most ancient religions. And Saturn has always also been considered the god of all gods and the most powerful deity no matter which civilizations we look at. Guys, Saturn is L, and this is very important to note. What makes Saturn's identity stand out that much more is the degree to which one nation after another repeated this same L-Saturn connection. So we could see that the Romans called him Saturnus, the pagans called him Pan, while popular Greek traditions identified Saturn as Kronos, the god of all Greek gods who ruled over the North Pole, had a bad habit of eating all of his children, and who was also the ruler of time. Time being the main factor inevitably leading to the death of us mortals. You could also say that this is where the legend of all father time came from, and that traditional representations of the grim reaper originate from the attributes of the same god of Saturn as well. So we could clearly state, before the great flood of Noah, during ancient times, Saturn was regarded by all of mankind as the supreme god and the ruler of all kings. And all occult researchers affirm that Saturn ruled the king of Atlantis and became the divine ancestor of all early patriarchs and kings. The cult has been perpetuated through numerous gods during antiquity and even to this very day. Let's look at some of these Saturnian sun gods from the past. So, if you think about it, all of these great empires that were worshipping the Saturnian sun gods from Atlantis to Babylon to Egypt to Greece and Rome and etc., you will notice a very, very significant trend and pattern. That all of these empires have either fallen or been destroyed. Guys. Saturn worship is a major link to Satan worship. Why else would these great and ancient empires have all been destroyed? In fact, all Semitic civilizations referred to the god Saturn as El, and Saturn is represented by a black cube. The Saturnian supreme deity ruled over the north pole of Saturn in all civilizations. And as you could see here, the north pole of Saturn is in a shape of a hexagon, which gives us a 3D cube. And when we look at the south pole from a bird's eye view, we could clearly see an eye. Therefore, that is where we get the ancient term, the all-seeing eye. And the all-seeing eye is the symbol of the omniscience of the sun god Saturn, Lucifer, and many, many more false gods. The eye is actually one of the oldest and most widespread symbols that is degrading God. So let's focus now on how Saturn is represented by this black 
cube. And we can find many instances of this black cube across the whole world. From the Santa Ana Science Museum, to the Israeli flag, to the black cube of a Mecca in Saudi Arabia, to the Kabbalistic tree of life, to every day company logos, and to everything else in between and under the sun. Now, let's get to a very important and one of the most eye-opening connections of this whole video, which has to do with Jesus Christ and Christmas. So here you could see on this picture that the cube actually opens up into a cruciform or a cross shape to reveal hidden symbology. And this is a very important to note, my brothers and sisters. As we all know, Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross by the Romans themselves. And of course, with the help of the Jewish church. And they all worshipped Saturn back at the time. The Jewish church and the Romans both. And by them, crucifying Jesus on the cross, they were all mocking our true God for destroying their ancient civilizations who worshipped Saturn. A crucial thing to notice as well is how quickly the Roman Empire fell after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And this alone, guys, points to Jesus Christ being the truth and the way. The pagan god of Saturn is in fact Satan in disguise. The more and more I do research, the more and more I study ancient gods, I realize that our god Jesus Christ is the only way. He's the only true god. Now let's take a closer inspection at Christmas or what the L eat called Jesus Christ's birthday, which is also a great mockery onto our Lord and a great deception to get the masses to worship Saturn. As you might remember, I told you in the very beginning of this video that December 25th is not Jesus Christ's actual birthday. So then you might be asking yourself, then why do we even celebrate Christmas on December 25th? Where did this come from? Well, Christmas actually stemmed from the Roman pagan festival called Saturnalia. Saturnalia, or the worship of Saturn, actually became one of the most popular Roman festivals of its time. It was marked by mischief and the reversal of social roles and norms, in which the slaves and masters switched places. Saturnalia was introduced around 217 BC to raise citizen morale after a crushing military defeat at the hands of the Carthaginians. And Saturnalia celebrations included a school and work holiday, the making and giving of small presents, and a special market where people could shop for the holidays. Saturnalia was a time to eat, drink, and be merry. Doesn't that sound all too familiar? It was originally celebrated for a day on December 17th, but as Saturnalia's popularity grew, it became a week-long extravaganza, ending on the 25th of December. And it was continued to be celebrated long and long after Jesus Christ's death. When Emperor Constantine established the Christian religion over the Roman Empire in 336 AD, many Romans did not want to give up Saturnalia, and they simply started celebrating Jesus' birthday on the same day, on December 25th. There is another crucial reason as to why celebrating Jesus' birthday on December 25th is a very occult practice. Astrologically speaking, Capricorn 
is the astrological sign, and it is in the house when Christmas happens on the 25th of December. If we look at Capricorn, we see that Capricorn is represented by a half goat deity, and that Capricorn is ruled by planet Saturn. This is a madness. And Saturn is also considered the lord of the winter. This is another satanic link to Saturn and Christmas. We could take a look at Baphomet and Pan, who are half goat deities, the pagans and satans worship. This is another pagan and elite mockery of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the concept of Satan and Saturn devouring children is seen in many, many classic works of art with a devilish horned goat. We could also link it to Kronos as well. So as I'm sure many of you know, there is a very well-known folk legend associated with Santa Claus that says that he lives in the far north, in a land of perpetual snow, which is the North Pole. And guys, this is all taken from pagan myths. And this is taken from the Greek Saturn god Kronos, who rules the North Pole of Saturn, who is a very old man with a beard, and who also ate his children. This is just a satanically reversed story. All they did was make Cronus look like a nice guy. They made Cronus into Santa Claus. Cronus was an old man who ate his children and ruled over the North Pole. And now Santa is a one who lives in the North Pole who's very old and likes children and gives them presents. This is satanic reversal propaganda. And this is getting the masses to worship Saturn or Santa Claus instead of Jesus Christ. Guys, you could go so deep into this that if you research it, the links will never stop adding up. And guys, every single Christmas tradition stems from Saturn worship, from mocking and crucifying Jesus Christ on a cube or cross to destroying his birthday. Even though December 25th is not his real birthday, they still try to mock God wherever they see him. Now let's look at some of these occult practices and traditions that we have on Christmas. Brothers and sisters, God hates the worship of Saturn, and this is exactly why he destroyed all the previous Saturn-worshipping civilizations. And the sad part is, today's civilizations have not learned one thing, and they're still worshipping Saturn, who is clearly Satan. This is the El Eats way for you to worship Saturn, and for you to sin and forget about the true God. This is all here for confusion. And Satan is the father of all lies and the author of all confusion. And this Saturn situation is one of the biggest deceptions to date. This is the lie of all lies and Saturn and Satan is the father of them. By understanding the Saturn cult, you will recognize how it affects you on a daily basis and it will give you the opportunity to reclaim that energy as your own and to use it towards the one and only true God, Jesus Christ. Knowing how our current civilizations still unknowingly worship the God of Saturn and knowing that each Saturn worshiping civilization 
gets destroyed by the one and only true God? We must take a second, step back, ponder, and ask the million dollar question. Which civilization will be destroyed by God next? I will let you decide. Guys, we must stay aware and vigilant of this great deception. Always watch out for these evils and question everything, my brothers and sisters. So on that note, I want to wish you all a beautiful and blessed week. And this was Spy Kitten with a Spy Kitten TV approved message. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content.